Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Chairman, Madam President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Do we need any further evidence on what we've just seen? Such cruelty, savagery, barbarity. We simply have to bring this to an end. I'd like to, first of all, say a word of welcome to our distinguished American colleagues. Your experience here is very important and very symbolic. And I'm also very happy to have here beside me Paddy Ashdown, who has unique experience on the international world stage, diplomatically, politically, etc. His prominence, his presence is highly important in terms of bringing a resolution to this tragic problem. As you know, we're here today to discuss the Ashraf problem. And I'm sure, as I was, that you're all appalled at the video footage that we've just seen, the attack that took place on the 8th of April. This moves me on to the issue of finding a solution to this crisis and ensuring that those residents mm. are protected from further violent assault by Iraqi forces. And it is for this reason, distinguished guests, that I wish to add my wholehearted support to the European Parliament's proposal, which is called the Stevenson Plan, mm. to solve the, the crisis once and for all. Having visited Iraq and discussed the attack with Iraqi officials, having been denied the right to visit the residents and to see at first hand what has happened, he has since put together a very sensible proposal which has been endorsed by our Iraq delegation which can and which must now be the solution to the crisis, which all governments, including the United States, must throw their weight behind. First and foremost, it is clear that negotiations over the ultimate transfer of Camp Ashraf of residents to democratic nations in the West cannot begin until Iraqi forces withdraw from the camp and allow the residents to receive all the necessary treatment, basic humanitarian rights denied to them at this juncture. This must in turn be followed by a full, independent inquiry into this attack that we've just seen so graphically illustrated in the video, and the return of all the, the belongings and personal items taken by Iraqi forces during the attack. However, in the meanwhile, the protection of the residents must be guaranteed by the United Nations Dead Force. For as long as Iraqi forces remain within the camp's borders, with their guns trained at the residents, then no meaningful discussions can be held. Mm. The international community, led by the EU, must now demand that a UN-led team take control, as Madam President has said, over the protection of the camp. Any attempt to talk of displacement within Iraq must be immediately resisted and quashed. The international community, as has already been said, led by Baroness Ashton, President Obama and others, must now at last throw its weight behind the European Parliament's proposal to protect the residents and once and for all set the ball rolling to protect a group of Iranians to whom we all owe so much. And I want to stress this point. I also want to, to use this opportunity to call on the United States government to follow the example of Europe and remove the name of the PMOI from its black list. There is no justification to keep them on this list. This movement and its leader, Ms. Rajavi, are the best chance of a truly diplomatic Iran. Ms. Rajavi, as, as a competent leader of this opposition and as a great symbol for this big war against Islamic fundamentalism, from our experience in the European Parliament here, we know that the Iranian regime fears them more than anything else. And this should be enough for anyone who wants to judge them fairly that the PMOI as a democratic movement which advocates a tolerant and progressive Islam is the real alternative to this fascist religious dictatorship. Thank you. Very good.